Last Friday, Minnesota Fighting Vikings future Hall of Fame cornerback Patrick Peterson had some interesting comments about his future. Here's what P Squared said, quote, Growing up, I always saw myself being an NFL football player. My dreams were to be a cowboy, but at the end of the day, that didn't happen. Still got some time on the table because I still got some tread left on the tires. But I love the game no matter who I'm playing for, and I'm going to bring that same intensity no matter the organization, end quote. So now... I'm actually glad I didn't see that at the time because the snap reaction would have been, why, why F the Cowboys and F you if you want to join them. You're in a playoff chase and you're talking about the 2022 free agency. Boo. We don't need you and your old ball skills. You suck anyway, you geriatric. Boo, 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 boo. So, like I said, glad we didn't see that at the time because I thought about it and cooler heads prevailed. And the Cowboys were his team growing up. Respect. And I... It'd be like if Thielen was playing for the Giants and he was talking about playing for the Vikings someday. No big deal. Also, he signed a one-year deal in free agency. A one-year deal that his agent had to approach the Vikings about, but it is what it is. It's a business. I understand that. And Peterson has shown that he still does have some tread left on the tires. When he's been healthy this year for the Vikings, he's been very solid after two pretty down seasons in Arizona, finishing out his fantastic career with the Cardinals. But will he be worth 8 to $10 million next season? No. Also factor in that one of the big reasons that he came to the Vikings was Mike Zimmer, who is the supposed defensive back guru. And he and Zimmer struck up a fast relationship, and Zimmer is probably going to be gone after the season. So you're going to have a new head coach, new defense coordinator, new system. Maybe they won't be a fit for Patrick Peterson, so maybe he will be hitting that dusty trail. But it is a little disconcerting that Peterson is talking about his future when the Vikings are still very much in the thick of this playoff fight, and the Vikings do need number seven to step up. But I think as a veteran, as a leader, eh, it sort of is what it is. Uh, the only drawback would be is he's shown that he is that leader in that cornerback room. He has a lot of influence there. All the young guys look up to him, even young veterans like Breland and Mac Alexander, who are both free agents in the offseason, just like Patrick Peterson. Also, Chris Boyd, uh, Chris Boyd might not be long for this team. Same thing with Cameron Dancer. So if everyone looks up to Patrick Peterson and they see Patrick Peterson already talking about the future and 2022, maybe he sort of checked out of this season or maybe they at least read it that way. Uh, maybe they will too in a spot where the Vikings need all their corners heads in the game because, I mean, we got to stop someone sometime, right? Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Like I said, I'm glad I didn't see this on Friday. Uh, much cooler heads prevailed uh, in this vid. But your thoughts are thoughts. Patrick Peterson wants to be a cowboy. I was on around. I don't know country music. Maybe he's watching too much Yellowstone. Maybe that's the cowboy he's talking about. Whatever. But let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.